New at noon, Pasco County officials just wrapped up a news conference on the shooting death of a man outside of Port Ritchie Club. Let's go right out to our Rob Munoz. He is there right now. What did the sheriff have to say today, Rob? Uh, we did just get done with that press conference with Sheriff Chris Naco out here, but this is the man they're looking for. This is Torres Bullock, 27 years old, wanted for the murder of uh, David Avon outside of the Brass Flamingo Strip Club on US 19 in Port Ritchie this morning. Let's get to some video of that scene for you. This happened around 2 o'clock, right after the strip club closed, we're told. Now, the sheriff is telling us that there was a fight starting inside of the club in between the victim, David Avon, and one of the suspect's friends. That fight spilled out into the parking lot outside. Side. That is when another man, an innocent bystander, we're told, tried to break up the fight and Torres Bullock shot the victim. That victim, we're told, is okay. He has non life threatening injuries, but he continued shooting and that's when he fatally shot David Avon outside in the parking lot of the club. But back out here live, that we're joined by uh, Sheriff Chris Knocko. Sheriff, we know that both the victim and the suspect here are pretty violent individuals. What, what, what are their histories? Yeah, we know that they have long criminal histories, you know, served time in the Department of Corrections, uh, drugs, burglary. But I can tell you right now, Torres Bullock is our main focus. We know he's a very violent individual. Anybody who's out there harboring him, please turn him in. Um, we will charge people if they knowingly are harboring him. That's why we're getting the message out there. And we also know that when we do know where he is, we got to be tactically ready. We already have a probable cause for a shooting. You, know, you have a probable cause for a shooting, and you're looking for him right now, but we also know that he has a gang history. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, you know, working with our detectives, we believe it's part of Valentine's Bloods. Um, it's a local gang, has national affiliation. So, once again, going back to the violence of this individual, he is a very violent. we got to be ready for him. And we're telling our citizens, if you know where he is, if you're a family member, turn him in. It's much better to turn him in and make sure everybody stays safe than for us to have to go out there and find him. All right, Sheriff, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Again, Torres Bullock, if you know anything, you're asked to call the police or also the uh, Pasco County Sheriff's Office. For now, though, we are live here in Pasco County. I'm Rob Munoz, ABC Action News.